morning everyone and welcome back out to the bush block. Today's project is to fit this large window into that wall there. I've just got the generator started up and heating up. So the first bit of the project is to cut this panelling out as it's a fairly large window. I'm going to cut it out in two pieces. It's one of the biggest, bigger windows I've done. That'll let a lot more light into the and container here. I did the framework the other week. I think I showed you all that. I've got the three frames for the three last windows. Thought I'd start on this end window first. Then I'll do this door here where the second window is going. That's been welded shut. And then the last window is going in that doorway, which has to be welded shut first. Well, here we go. We'll start with this one today and see how we go. left one cut up the top there so if I cut that and hopefully I'll try and drop that sheet of metal in between the wall and the ladder where I'm standing. I'll just move that uh, sheet out of the way and I'll get this frame to see how we're looking for fit. And I'll have to grind all the edges, grind all the paint off ready for welding. I might have to cut out a bit extra, depending on the frame fit. in after a bit of mucking around grinding it in it's sitting in there I've tacked the corners of it I had to tack the two bottom corners and then hit the top end just with a rubber mallet and then I just tacked them into position so I'll continue to tack that all into position and then I'll fully seam weld it so it's fully sealed and part of the framework and then we can put the window in It'll take me a few hours to weld all this. We'll weld all that up and then see how we're going then. Yeah, 
go, I've got that framework all welded in. About four hours later, it's fully seam welded. I've had a few comments on previous videos stating why don't you just tack weld it and fill in the gaps with silicon. <clears throat> well, no, there's a few reasons for that. <clears throat> the wall is a structural part of the shipping container, so when you cut out a section of wall, you weaken the side of the container dramatically. So the window frame is actually putting reinforcement back into the structure, distributing the weight of the roof back to the floor through the frame. So you want it fully welded to make sure it's a strong bond and yeah, that weight's being distributed down through to the floor. Also, silicon breaks down over time, in UV especially. So if you're just filling in the gaps with silicon, eventually that'll break down and cause leaks. I do cover the welds inside and out with silicon, just in case I do have a pinhole in my welds, but I should not have a pinhole if I've welded it properly. But I just do that just in case. So that's why I fully seam weld the whole frame. It takes a long time, but you do it right the first time, you shouldn't have any worries and it'll last forever. There we go, we've got that window all installed now. Just have to silicon around the edge, 
clean it up. I'll have to probably clean those rollers up on the sliders. Being second hand, they're a bit gummed up. And it's been a long job, but a good job done. Once I finish that up. So say the next window, as I said, will be in this door. I've still got to cut the bars on the outside, cut them off out of the way first before I can install that. And then finally it'll be this side here. Once those doors are welded up, the window can go in there. Well, thanks again for joining us on the Bush Block Homestead. We'll catch you again next time. See you.